What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Tara J, back in here with another one. And today, as you can see from the title, this is my very last video of 2021. I am coming to you to talk, talk to you about things that I have learned this year and the things that I plan to continue learning in 2022. I'm so happy to share this with you. I have 20 things that I hold dearly to me that I consider are life lessons, and I plan to continue learning these lessons repeatedly throughout my life so it can stick and before i get into that i do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so go ahead right now subscribe to my channel don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time i post a video okay <laughs> and if you are not yet subscribed i'm sorry if not yet if you have already subscribed to my channel and if you are a loyal viewer i truly appreciate you you are the bomb okay and thank you so much for being with me with me being so inconsistent i want to try my best to give so much good material this year that is definitely on my vision board to bring five star content that i would like and you would like to okay so with no further further ado i'm hoping that you are subscribed to my channel already and we can dive right into it these are 20 things that i have learned this year in 2021 and things that i plan to continue to learn and we want to learn in 2022, okay? Of course, I have my handy dandy notebook because I love writing things down. When things come to me, I just want to write them down and make sure I give them to you, okay? <laughs> That's what I mean by five-star content. I want to be able to vlog more. I want to be able to journal more. I want to be able to just do more things so the world can see me, okay? Because <laughs> I'm more than enough for everybody so with that being said i will have to continue making great content right if you have not seen my hair i did my hair myself and i absolutely love it it's so pretty <laughs> the only thing that i don't like about locks and butterfly locks is that you see it's like it sticks together i don't understand that it's the hair mostly but anyway guys sorry to get off topic <laughs> This is 20 things that I learned in 2021 and the things that I plan to continue learning in 2022. Number one, it says feeling sad about making a decision that doesn't. Sorry, <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> okay, it says feeling sad about making a decision doesn't mean it was the wrong decision. That is basically saying that you you finally for for example when you finally decide to choose you or leave a toxic relationship of course you're gonna feel bad and you're gonna feel sad like oh i'm so lonely and i don't know what to do i'm so used to this but if you realize it in the future that is gonna be that you removing yourself from that toxic relationship it's gonna make a huge difference for your future so that's what it means by feeling sad after making a decision doesn't mean you made the wrong decision. Um, number two, life is not tiring. Wanting life to be a certain way, but not having the confidence to make it that way is tiring. That is basically saying like, oh, I want my life to be so drastic. I want Florida in the windows. I want, I want the career of my dreams. I want to live in my purpose. But you just working at Target every day. You can stay with your life, going home, going to sleep, eating dinner, go home, eating dinner, shower, eat dinner, go to sleep, repeat. That's you being stagnant and continuing with your life. So, of course, that's tiring because you want this huge, great life, but you're not doing nothing to get the life that you want. <sighs> that's a nice lesson. <laughs> Number three, self-awareness is realizing that there is no opponent. You are fighting against yourself. That's something that I learned. That um, I'm my own competition. My brain is what I think is what it could be. Or if I think, oh, shit, I just did a terrible job. Or, oh, shit, I'm going to have a bad day. Most of the time, I have a bad day. So, or if I choose to be happy, I don't have a... I don't have a I don't have a worry in life because I'm choosing to be happy and I know that my focus is to be better than I was yesterday. So that requires me to be happier than the day before. <laughs> so number four, 
sometimes saying goodbye doesn't mean you don't love something. It just means you love yourself too. This is all simply about growth. It's removing and ending things that don't fit you. It's like you outgrow in certain situations or certain people and you have to be okay with that because you have to choose you first. Uh, number five, that lesson will repeat itself until you learn it. Oh, child, this is the lesson that I have learned and went through my entire life. It took me 28, 29 years to this lesson all by itself that I had continued a lesson in my life that repeated over and over and over and I hated it so much. And I didn't know what to do because I had to realize that it was me. Me keeping myself in that same situation so the lesson repeated itself over and over and over and over. And so I woke up and realized that, okay, be, okay, boo, it's you. See, 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 this is what I mean about butterfly locks. It's the bad part about it. It's like, it's, it's, it sticks together. It, that sucks. It's so pretty, but it sticks together, which is a huge thumb down. But anyway, I had to realize that in order for me to stop getting the same lesson repeatedly, I had to grow up. I had to realize that this is not what I want in my life. So... It's time for me to move on and let it go. I have to finally let go. Number six, if you keep one hand on your, oh, this is a point of letting go. If you keep one hand on your past and one hand on your future, you'll never have either. To embrace tomorrow, you must let go of yesterday. That's super self-explanatory. Like, I love the fact that I wrote that down after, um, lessons that repeat itself because in order to continue to grow I do have to let go of what was and what happened and I think that I did that finally this year when I changed my phone number I think that that's going to be huge for me going into the new year having a new number certain kind of people can't contact me and so I want them to contact me and when that happens I want to be mentally in a space much further than where I am now. Granted that I am in a great mental space. I love how I am and how I think, but I also want to be better. Number seven, the world starts and ends entirely inside your mind. No matter where you end up, no matter how rich or successful you become, you won't enjoy any of it if you get there at an expense of your mental health. This is simply saying self-care is the best care, okay? Because if you're mentally fucked up or you're not mentally in a space to receive goodness or blessings, you won't receive them and you'll be stuck exactly where you are unhappy because you're not sure that when you live in uncertainty, your unconscious realizes that you are uncertain about you and your life until you get out of that phase then you'll see blessings and you'll, you'll see and you'll begin to develop more and more. I think I should do videos, more videos about that. My unconscious mind and how you speak life into yourself. Yeah. When you think positive thoughts, positive things will happen. I always tell my kids that. Number eight. When people show you who they are, believe them. It took me 28 years to get that my this is something that my sister has told me i think the first time she told me this was 2000 oh my god it was so long ago it might have been about 10 years when she first told me that i'm not sure who told her that or where she got it from but it's been 10 years and she's been telling me it for 10 years trying to get me to understand and i'm slowly i'm slowly learning it i'm slowly realizing it but this is one of the lessons that i want to continue to learn throughout my life i learned it this year but i know it's going to be sometimes where i don't know what that is so don't ask but um i know it's going to be some times where i go against my own self and allow someone to treat me the way that i know that i don't want to be treated and i want to be able to stop in that moment and realize that okay this is who this person is and they're not gonna change. So I have to remove myself from the situation before I become them. Number nine, don't shame yourself for wanting the same love you give. 
that's simple. I know that I love deeply. I love hard and my love is unconditional. So I feel like I deserve that too. So I'm not going to shame myself for anything that I know that I can give. I bring a lot to the table. So the people that I allow into my life need to bring the exact same energy. Okay. Simple love. Number 10, this is should have been number one, but this is always put God first. God is a very necessary piece in my life and it should be in yours too. It's something, a lesson that I had to learn for a really long time is that without God, I am nothing. And I can't be nothing without prayer, without knowing that something is bigger than me and guiding me through life. Yeah. Number 11, um, don't chase anyone. I find myself wanting people in, people, certain people in my life because of their potential and not realizing that this person may not even be good for me in the, in the long haul. So I have to realize that like, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to chase anyone because I know that I'm a good person and I bring a lot to the table. So at this point, you should be chasing me. Um, 12, don't beg anyone to stay. I love this because if you don't want to be in my life, you don't have to be. I don't, I don't like to, um, hold a gun to people's head or make them feel bad for no longer wanting to communicate with me because that is completely fine because I know how I am. And when I'm done communicating with somebody, it's a real thing. <laughs> so if, if I did something to affect you and you don't want me to be in your life, probably not likely because, I'm very mindful and I'm I'm very kind and I care about the next person and I treat others. I really follow the concept of treating others how you want to be treated. So it's not a lot of times where people want to remove me. It's a lot of times where I want to remove you or I wrongly remove people after they hurt me maybe once or twice and that could have been a great person where I could, my life could have benefited with them being in it. Um, number 13, know my worth. Um, that's a huge thing that I've learned this year. I know that I'm a bomb ass bitch. Okay. <laughs> and can nobody, can nobody tell me nothing? Okay. I'm, I'm talented. I, I got gifted hands. I can do anything once. And if I do it once, I can perfect it. If that's what I want to do. I got skills. Um, my spirit is magnetic. My energy is to die for and I'm me. I'm a very nice, well-mannered person with a whole lot of ghetto sprinkled on top. <laughs> that sums it up. That does. Um, 14, save space for people who matter. Um, I learned that this year that is I hold I held a lot of people close and I shouldn't have when it was cutting out space for people that actually really matter to me. So I, what I want to focus on in 2021 are the people who matter and are the people who will matter or has, a, has the possibility to matter to me. So that's my focus that I want to continue learning is to save space for those who matter. And the people who matter know they matter because I matter to them. Um... 15, leave what isn't for me. Um, it took me all years to realize that and I'm still learning this because I don't think that how people treat me sometimes is how I deserve it. So it makes me wonder like, hmm, it can't be me. So it gotta be you. So let me help you become a better you when in fact that I don't need to do that because that's not my job to make you a better you. It's your job to make you a better you. So if you're not for me, I have to be able to accept that. Number 16, here it goes. That's exactly what I'm saying. Accepting what I cannot, that what cannot be changed. Um, warm perspective, people. I know that I've learned that in my lifetime that those people cannot be changed. Um, my past traumas, that cannot be changed. Um, yeah, those are certain things that cannot be changed. And I have to be able to accept that or just people people that aren't me or aren't like me I can't do anything about that or the negative people I can't make a negative person not want to be negative anymore you know what I'm saying things that cannot be changed like the world like I have 
have a small world around me, but I know that I cannot change the world. I would like to, but I can't do it. <laughs> um, 17, love myself and be kind to me. Oh, I've learned, this is the number one thing that I, I'm not gonna say number one, but besides God, um, when it's a focus on me, I know that that's something that I have, something that I've developed really good. Like I've been able to love myself and I love myself so much. And I know that, I know that I used to say this thing where it's like, there's nothing in life and I'm happy with, I'm happy with me. But now I see that that requires me being, me loving myself and me being happy with me requires so much more than just me. It requires everything around me, like these plants, this these posters. It has like every, I have to, live in happiness i have to feed myself happiness i have to think happy thoughts i have to care about my outside being and my inside being it has so much more than mental it i realized that and it's more of a focus on what i like to do doing the things that i want to do rather than oh um i'm not gonna do this because such and such may not like it i don't care what you're not gonna like because you don't have to do it i can do it by myself Okay, <laughs> so things like that. And number 18, forgiving is for me and not someone else. I want to, I've learned that along of my lifetime of forgiving someone who hurt me without them even knowing that I forgave them because what does that matter, right? Like, what is that going to do for them? Oh, I forgive you. Are you going to change your actions? Are you going to present something different to me? Maybe, but maybe not though. So I have to consider the fact that the outcome might still be the same, but I have to protect my mental health and forgive them so it doesn't weigh me down. Because it's, when I carry to hatred or grief or sadness or sorrow, it's a lot of, it's a lot to carry and it. And then it becomes heavy and it weighs. And I don't want to do that. So I'd rather forgive someone than to not number 19 speak more when it's needed oh i'm I already do that so i'm happy that i've become more of a speaker and and i speak a lot like i talk a lot and most of the time when i'm talking i talk boldly truthfully i talk with intent although i want to be more intentional in 2022 that's a goal of mine to be intentional more intentional um yeah i want to defend those that can't defend themselves i want to i want to speak for those that was in my where i was i was there a couple years ago i want to speak for those that aren't sure of how to get there in see me and I got there. You get what I'm saying? That's what I want to speak more. I want to speak for you and me, okay? <laughs> and 20, the last thing is speak less when needed. Um, everything that I know, I'm, I'm realizing that everything that I'm thinking, I don't need to say out loud because it may not come out nicely. And again, my intent is not to hurt anyone's feelings, but it still might not come out the way it should because my emotions could be tied to my feelings or somebody might just have me fucked up. So I have to realize that in certain moments, being quiet is necessary. And I think that the quote that we, I know that I grew up with, I know my um, grandparents always told me that if I don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. So that's what I mean by speaking less. It's, or just simply not having to be the center of attention. I know that I am big and I'm bold and I'm spontaneous and I'm a burst of energy nowadays, but I know that I don't have to be the forefront all the time. So I'm really finding that piece of me that can remain calm and turn up at the same exact time, okay? <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is the 20 things that I learned or want to continue to learn in the next year. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, of course, as you know, I'm Tara J. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
and I'm out. Peace. Happy New Year's, guys.